Hello everyone, today I'm here for CC Design and it's the social media hop and I'll be putting this card together and also coloring that little fairy. So here it is and we were showcasing that on Monday, it's the Tink set and I also used the rectangle die from CC Design. I used some of this um, shimmer uh, paint and one of the dies that I had in the store and here it is again I'm just gonna glue the f oh sorry it's four and four uh, four and one fourth by five and I'm gonna glue down a panel of gold and you get a sneak peek of me <laughs> yeah it's like a little mirror there and just put that down see my camera or my phone I should say and here's the panel I have my sentiment and also like I said I use that paint and it has a shine so when the light hits it a certain way you can see it's shiny I, I like that paint I really do so I'll just put it make sure it's straight before I press it down and see the shine it's so pretty I love it so yes this is the stuff and I use the water brush with it and it makes a mess that's why I didn't do it on the video yeah messy messy that or it's just me could be just me too and here I'm gonna put my circle with the uh, stars and I just used uh, the nouveau pen glue I find it's a nice tip for all these little place on there and you have to hold it down for a bit but I'm speeding it up a bit so here's my little fairy I have a pop dot so she stands out and now I'm just gonna line it up so she's nicely positioned and there and I bend a little wing so they they are a little bit more lifted so and I'm gonna put all the negative little stars that comes out of that uh, that wreath of stars so I use them all just to have a little bit more gold on there makes it nice and shiny so there's my card it's a super easy card but I just I just think it's so pretty with all the gold touches so here I am gonna color my little fairy and that's the E00, E13 and I'm going to bring my E11 in a second. That's my two gold colors on my skin. So I'm just going to blend up that 11 a little bit more in. Hoping you're liking all the sneak peeks that we had in preview days for CC Design for this release. Super fun release, as always. And I have my blog, I, I posted my blog too because it's hard to put all the information on a video. I truly don't know how to put all the links and stuff like that. So I do have my blog listed too. So check that out and hop along with us for some cute inspiration with these adorable stamps for this month. So here I'm just doing the arms the same colors. I'm just blending that. some on the little neck part and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you don't want to miss any of the videos and updates on new releases like this one and now I'm just doing the little legs she's got nice little chunky legs Coloring that in. I 
had this card done for a little bit and I, I was slacking. I needed to just um, do all my, well, my voiceover and editing my video. And yeah. The fun part is the coloring. I gotta say, that's what I enjoy. So here I go and I'm gonna start doing my, my wings with the BG11, a nice light color. So I'm just gonna go lightly and just at the end, I'm gonna put a little bit darker on, on uh, the wings, just closer to her. So I had forgot to do that one hand, so I brought back my colors for the skin. And as always, I bring my pencil, my Gamsol, and nib just to do some nice shading. And again, I'm going to do my, my wings. And I did her a little different color. I, I was going to do her like, like she looks like the, um, I always want to say Dumberluna, but it's not. Um, Tinkerbell. She looks like Tinkerbell from Peter Pan. Um, I was going to do her green and then I said, eh, I wanted to do her different. So I went with more like a turquoise instead of a green color. It's one of my favorite colors. As you probably know, the ones that do follow me, I love using this color. Yeah, my bathroom that color too yeah I'm a big fan of this color so here I'm gonna do her little dress I'll still use the the BG 11 and then I have the and I did show it before and I just rem don't remember what it was the 13 I think it's the BG 13 yes it is just blending both of them because the 11 is a very light color I do touch the nib I find it helps to blend I was kind of worried my daughter has a sore throat so I was like okay I got to get this video done before I start getting a sore throat so I try to tell her to stay away, to stay away. She just has a sore throat. She's not, doesn't have COVID for anything. I'm hoping, I'm pretty sure she doesn't. We've been trying to stay at home, but it's that time of year. Yeah, I'm almost done the little dress such a sweet little image now I, I just used the darker shade for the little uh, slippers so I take the the BG 13 and here I'm gonna start the hair and this is gonna be the darker shade that I do is the E 34 And I do leave it dry and go to something different and go back to the hair. So you'll see I use, I think, four colors. So I go again with my 34, just to darken, just the, like, the edge a little darker. And her little bun. So here I'm just putting back the highlights in her eyes with the with a, a gel pen, a white gel pen. And I got the RV11 for the cheeks. And I fixed a little bit of the white because I kind of pushed it a little much. And there's my eyes, they're nice now. And here I take the back of my skin color and just to tone it the cheeks a little bit so they're not so pinky and this is the second color for the hair 
the E31. And just try to flick it so I have some little flicking going on. And I have that color for the skin color just to do my shading. all around her face and here I'm going to bring my gamsole and I'm going to start shading with my brown all around so I just have to do a project with the oh what is that one called we don't get the the label for our our um, stamps so yeah it's the one with the fruits uh, um, we go together the one new set so that one I'm looking forward to, to do something for my post day I have my post day uh, next Wednesday so I'll be doing a video for then and I'll be using that set because that's the only set I didn't use yet so I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna use the with the dye or just by itself We'll see. I don't plan too much ahead. It's whatever I feel like when it comes time. Okay, so here I bring in uh, the YR23 for the hair. So it's more like a yellowish color to go with that those browns. I find with the YR21 It'll cool that yellow down a bit. It kind of looks really yellow. It works. It does do, yeah, you'll see in a bit. So I just bring a little bit of gray pencil just for some shading on the pom-poms on her, her little shoes or slippers. This is the color I'll be doing my shading on the little dress and a little bit on the wings, not much on the wings. I want to keep them light and a little bit on the slippers too so I'm just blend it and I start with the wings because see my nib is nice and clean it's not it doesn't have too much of the crayon uh, the pencil yet so that's why I want it gentle on, on like not much. So that's why I started with the wings. Because if you did the dress before the wings, then you would have lots of that pencil on there, right? So I'm just blending that. And I could have went a little darker too. I should get my other, I have another set of pencils. Um, I should go get those out too. Maybe I would have had a darker shade for that. And there you go. So this is the last color I'm gonna put on my hair. So that's the YR21. Like I say, it doesn't, it takes away from that really start yellow and I'll be bringing pencil a, a dark brown to do a little shading in the hair too and I do it lightly on I should have went darker right away but I'll just do two two coats of like another pass on a pencil there on the bun and on top of her head as I say it's better to go lightly and do a couple times even three four times as many times as you're happy with it than do it too dark and then 
it's just too much. So there it is. I'm going to blend that in. Such a fun little image to color. Just a sweet little character. And I'm just going to do the little bow with the darker shade, the BG13. And she's all done. Beautiful. Too cute. I had to stop my video. Somebody was at the door. So here's my card and the one I just, just colored. Uh, the only thing I find this one looks a little different as the little cheeks are a little more pinky and I round a little wing so they pop out a little bit more. So here's the new stamps and they are available today. And I just bring my card and I hope you'll like my project for today and I'll see you all soon. Bye.